Welcome to Drinking Bros, presented by GhostBed.com. The top stories of the decade. Epstein, you broke this story. How did you start tracking him, and how did you first find out about Jeffrey Epstein? I knew about Epstein because 20 years ago, there'd be articles about this group of, of, of billionaires wanting to save the world with Warren Buffett, Ted Turner, Bill and Melinda Gates, and all these other people, um, only black persons, Oprah Winfrey, meeting in New York and other areas to, to, to create a, quote, alternative world government, the one that's already there, I guess, uh, to, to save the world from overpopulation. So I first saw his name involved in eugenics. That's why years later, when it came out, he was involved in eugenics. I said, they didn't come out. He, he was like running secret breeding programs mm -hmm. and weird facilities and hospitals. And, and the, whole, the whole cover of it was these rich billionaires having sex with young girls and they're actually having their kids. And I can't figure out exactly what for. Uh, but it's like the ultimate ego thing. Oh, your, your genetics is so good. You've got to have more babies and we'll secretly promote them in, in, into culture and everything. And you know, it's kind of like William the Conqueror, I guess, was the son of a Norse king who had sex with a prostitute. So, you know, there's kind of that hybrid vigor idea. So there's kind of this old elitist thing, like have secret sired kids out there. But that's really what was going on. That was in the excuse to have a bunch of other stuff to blackmail higher rung uh, politicians and scientists. But, but he was really running a scientific blackmail ring to get all the scientists in uh, to then have sex with a girl, look like they're 20, they're really 16. Then it's like, hey, really got to join the club. It's a 12-year-old. And then, you know, one of these kids has been giving us a problem. We just want to go shoot him with a shotgun down this basement, and then we'll really know we can trust you. Well, I'm not going to do that. Well, here's footage of you screwing the 12-year-old. Yeah, you're going you're gonna to go in there, and you're going to freaking beat that kid's brains out with a baseball batter. We're going to kill you and your family. By the way, we've got, you know, all the money we gave you in those banks. We're about to expose you. You're going to prove you're loyal. You're going to kill that little girl. Yeah, it's just the mafia. It's, it's what it is. Yeah. It's, no, it's nothing new. Just gangster stuff. Yeah. And people have been doing this. This is this has been part of politics. It's politics has existed since human in all of human history. Well, the local Mexican mafia makes you go shoot a liquor store clerk, clerk for no reason. Yeah. So they yeah. got dirt on you, murder one. Yeah. And well, what do you think the real mafia does? You got to screw little kids. Yeah. Uh, and look, I think more and more as we get into the twenties and into the new year, more and more shit about this is going to actually come out. Um, and I think more and more people are going to get popped. I mean, we've seen what Prince William now. Yeah. The, the puppet thing. <clears throat> I, now, well, that's the big question. But, but, but listen for, for, for the puppet. The fact this is coming out is not just by accident. This is threatening a huge wing of the blackmail system, mainly in Republicans. Um, Why in Republicans? The, well, uh, it, it's a huge blackmail ring. I'm saying mainly, mainly in Republican wings that aren't connected, and then you've got Democrats that are, but you've got some Republican businessmen. So when I say mainly in Republicans, I'm saying they've been compromising them other ways. This particular thing is Democrats and scientists. So because this isn't mainly the Republicans, they're going to now be able to burn down a whole wing of this thing, but the Republicans also have similar uh, type stuff going on as well. So, so, so when I say mainly Republicans, I'm saying mainly Republicans, they have other wings that they've corrupted them with, uh, but over here, this is mainly Democrats and then scientists, there are some Republicans involved, but they're mainly neocons. And so, again, it's not like they got compromised secretly being videotaped, you know, hurting a kid. Th this is done to be in the club to prove their compromise, which I know I've already stated five times. And so this is a real chance to burn down a large segment of the very worst elements of the globalist system. And so that's why it shows how the economic and political warfare has gone to such a high level. It's kind of like they went after Bill Clinton for one intern because they couldn't go after him on other things because the Republicans, so many of them were involved in the same corruption. But now because of Trump getting in, you've got new groups of Republicans who really have been grassroots and more Tea Party who don't have this background yeah. and who mm -hmm. don't have this problem. And so now they've got a big problem because a large part of the government now at the administrative and executive and legislative level is not blackmailable. And that's why we're in such a big crisis, which is good, forcing all these big blackmail rings and this Ponzi scheme out in the open. It's almost like... Uh Draining a swamp or something. Weird, right? That's it. Weird, isn't it? Weird, yeah. Uh, <laughs> but so anyways, I'm ranting about that, but 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 Epstein is one of the biggest stories because he is a manager. You know how at, at hotels or whatever, they'll celebrate the Mater D at a restaurant or a hotel because they handle the parties and do it all. They're kind of a cause celeb. It's the same thing. He was a Mater D, high-level triple spy for the Israelis, the British, and the United States. And then this corporate network that, you know, isn't officially running things, but is running things with a private intelligence agency. So it's not green lit inside the CIA to run around and you know, have these pedophile rings that corrupt bipartisan groups. 
it's done by this criminal network that's taking over the intelligence agencies and the corporate systems and the academic systems. And once you have that, you have everything. Yeah. I know you guys know that. It's just that this is the key to it all because Epstein is like that Christmas sweater where you pull the one string yeah. and the whole thing starts unraveling. I think Weezer wrote a song about it. It did, yeah. Do you want to destroy my sweater? Yeah. Big fan of that. I didn't know it was about Epstein until it was, now, yeah. but they yeah. knew. They knew. Weezer's the, the yeah. prophets. Yeah. yeah.